Hey everyone, welcome back to Rebig Structures. If you're just joining us for the first time, please do well to subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, like this video if it's educative. On today's tutorial, we'll be diving into the design of ribbed slabs using prota structures. This is going to be a step to step guide on how you can design ribbed slab with prota structure. So, before we go into design proper, what exactly are ribbed slabs? Rib slabs are types of reinforced concrete floor system where the slab is cast integrally with a series of closely spaced ribs. These ribs can also be called beams. And they usually run from one direction, just one direction, not in two directions. They either run longitudinally or in the other direction, only one direction. Okay? The ribs help to reduce the amount of concrete used while still maintaining strength and stiffness. You mostly find rib slabs in commercial buildings, multi-story car parks, and in hotels. And in rare cases, you find them in residential blocks. And you only find them in residential blocks if they have longer spans and needed. In areas where longer spans are needed. Okay, so they are popular. Rib slabs are actually very popular in some places because it helps reduce the dead, dead weight. Because with rib slabs, you have voids at the middle. So there's reduction in the dead weight. And also, this efficient, it's also very efficient if you have medium to long spans. Instead of having a thickness of your slab, of your solid slab up to 300, and then you can introduce ribs to help reduce the weight. Okay, from the rib slabs, you can also have a better control for your deflection. So in this video, we'll walk you through everything from modeling, applying loads, and also running analysis and designing the reinforcement for rib slabs or that structure. Right? So let's get started. Okay, so design of rib slab. I have, your, I have my own model here. You can have yours. So for my model, I want to place my rib slab here. So what I can do, I could just delete this solid slab because I want to place my rib slab here. Okay. All right. So after deleting that solid slab, I'll come to modeling. Under the ribbon of modeling, you come to rib slabs. Click on rib slabs okay so from here from the drop down menu you see general so for the general you have the label you have type you are going to be using standard for rib slabs okay well you can click this to see the different you have prefabricated this also for designing of rib slab okay this is prefabricated is when you already if it's a precast rib okay but we're going to be using standard because we want it to want to cast it together with the little decking we'll be having so we are going to be using standard okay so these other quantities here i'm going to be explaining those quantities to you how you can get this okay so from this you probably understand those quantities better so you have h h is going to be the total depth of your slab okay that's the h slab plus the height of your ribs okay so that's going to be the total and for this video our h is going to be 300 our bw bw is, is the width of your rib the s block is the distance between the ribs in to in please note s block is in to in it's not from the center of the rib to the other center of the rib is in to in okay and for this design we'll be using 450 for the s block okay and the thickness of the slab we're going to be using on top is going to be 75 okay so how is at the back of your mind h is the total height of your rib slab bw is the width of your ribs s block is the in to in the distance between the in to in of your ribs your rib beams your rib or your beams okay and the h slab is the thickness of the slab you want to be using the thickness of it so that's the sub five all right okay so that's so we know that our bw from what i just showed you is 150 h is the total height of a slab that's the small slab thickness plus the height of a rib and for this video i'm going to be using 300 uh h slab was 75 okay and the s block was 450 please remember that 
from them we can come to our loads okay so for our loads you leave self with self with is going to calculate the self weight for you so you just leave self with going to this software automatically calculate that for you okay so for the dead load we are going to be using dead load of 3.7 okay 3.7 this is finishes plus a partition load so 3.7 total okay and in post load we are going to this is going to be for general domestic buildings we are going to be using 1.5 for a live load okay once you have that you can just click and you can insert that you can close that menu bar so if you zoom in you are going to see the direction okay this is the direction of your rib so you can double click on that in case you don't want to be in this direction you can double click on that come to insertion so you want to change angle you can change it to 90 degrees and you update you're going to see it's going to flip okay but it's always advisable you place your ribs in the direction of your shorter span okay so as to make it make it rigid and also to you know reduce deflection as we said earlier as being one of the benefits of using rib so this isn't the best so the best direction this can be is in this direction so we put it at zero degrees and you update it okay and this is the direction we are going to be using for this uh, design of rib slabs okay you close that and you have your ribs All right so this is your rib slab next thing you're going to be doing is you come to your analysis okay before that you can before we come to analysis just still come back to modeling we want to insert strips okay do note that for normal slabs solid slabs remember that when you're adding slips we usually use analytical strips all right for solid slab so let's say i want to put ribs my for my solid slab here i can just click this hold my control key to make it a straight line and click this okay and it will probably add see for my solid slab but for rib slab it's usually not analytical strips okay let's just assume you want to put that we could just click Hold and drop. You see, it's going to give you a warning telling you that the fixed S flow analysis is not carried out or results are in, invalid for this story. Meaning that for rib slab analysis, you need finite element analysis of your floor. Okay, but then we can just click OK. Uh, strip will still be added. And also, don't forget your end conditions. Our end conditions for the end here is so we can just click that, update that, and yeah. Okay, we've done for the x direction, we're going to do the same for the y direction. Okay, so you click oh your okay. Also note the direction, it's coming from here up here. See where the arrow is, that's the direction. So from the end here it is okay, and this so we are correct, so you can close that. After adding your strips, the next thing you should do is for you to come to your analysis. And you come to your building analysis don't forget to edit your materials for my rib slab so you can come to edit materials we are going to be using for rib slabs since we are designing ribs we are going to be using concrete for this tutorial we are going to be using concrete grade of 20 25 so you can come here for your steel grade you are going to be using 410 you can click on that and we are going to check the reinforcement for Okay, so this is your rib. You're going to be using Y12, but I'm also going to include Y10 in case Y10 passes. So for these tutorial videos, I want to be using either Y10 or Y12 for my ribs, depending. Okay, so you can set this for yours. I've set for my columns, I've set for my beams, but for this tutorial video, I'm going to just be designing rib slabs. So click OK, click OK, click OK. So we can come to your analysis click on building analysis okay so it's telling you that the final let me load the composition okay it's not so what we can do now because of our solid slab we can just close this come to our load the composition okay so we have to do the decomposition for our solid slabs but so we click this and the lights do that for the solid slabs okay 
and we're done so we close this come back to building analysis analysis and building analysis okay so i'm not really interested with the columns beams and all of that i'm really interested in my ribs so i don't need all of this i just wanted to just analyze the building for me and not design for my columns and beams so building analysis Okay, so no error message, so direction is okay, no error message, and that has been completed. Building analysis completed successfully, so we can close that. You come here to your finite element flow analysis, like I told you before. For rip slabs, you need finite element flow analysis, so we click that, okay, and we do flow mesh, okay, so you, yes. okay so that has been completed so you can close that right so once that is done the next thing you should do is come to your design come to your rebeams okay you see your x this is based on your strips you see to x2 and y2 okay and also i don't want to use the rebar pattern i want to use so you come to settings and parameters come to rebar pattern i want to use my standard pattern too i don't know whatever rebar pattern you're using but this is what i want to use for my rib beam so i come here beam type come to rib beams okay i've already set this for my own system so i've already set this for my system so my rib beams i want to use standard pattern too okay so i have set this already so you can set pattern as default and i click okay so i come to beach design batch mode and reselect all bars do you want to know i want it to use so let's click on no and my rib beams has been designed successfully so it's heat design it's green it means that the rib beams passed so we double click on that and from the design you realize that one white turn top and bottom works perfectly for our ribs okay you can see you want to be safer and increase it to two it's okay but one works perfectly right so we can just leave that as one okay leave that as one and impress okay same thing with desired direction one white ten one white ten works perfectly click okay and that's the design for your rib beams you can also check for your rib slab rib slab slab analysis you click on it okay so you design once you design this will give you the analysis result for your rib slabs so for our story one for the x so these are the two strips we did to x and y direction okay for the x direction which is the horizontal direction you realize that the maximum moment you're having is 13.6 which is very very small so with 13.6 if you do your analysis for area of reinforcement you realize that you can provide nominal reinforcement for your slab for the 75 toppings you have there so you can provide y8 at 200 y8 at 250 y8 at 300 as the case may be okay and also for your axis y you like that there are no moments okay all right so that's it thank you for watching the video if you've learned how to design rib slab please do well to like the video comment drop comment and also share for a wider reach don't also forget to subscribe to the channel see you on the next one thank you